Hey, this is David with Haggerty and our Redline Rebuild updates. We are back again here with our 1950 Chevy pickup truck. And today the goal is to have the heater core coming out these little holes right here and then be able to put the engine back in. But to do that, I need to reassemble the heater core. I pulled it all apart, the heater box and core. I pulled it all apart just basically to understand what kind of condition this heater core is in. Now, externally, it does not look all that grand. Internally, so far, it doesn't have any leaks. So we're gonna wing it, throw it back in there. If it leaks, we'll redo it. Not a big deal, you'll see it's pretty simple. Uh, we did go through and we tested the six volt squirrel cage fan and it works phenomenally and also the heater door to defrost door is working well so it, that will divert air from the floor up to these two uh, outlets which go to the defrost unit above the windshield now granted i'm not driving that in the winter but on those cooler mornings or evenings when the dew starts to set it is nice to be able to put a little heat up on the windshield if it starts to get foggy because that gets a little dicey all right, with that, we're gonna get rolling and uh, get that part done. core in we even got one of the lines hooked up we're waiting for the engine to put the rest of it in but that's where we're headed next is getting the engine out of hibernation over here I'm sure you remember it from the from the time-lapse I'm sure you remember it from the time-lapse but here it is in all of its glory we're gonna mate it to the transmission slide it into the pickup truck, and then start putting everything around it. Oh man, my lift points are gone.
So the plan was to put the transmission on the back of the engine and then slip everything into the truck. But I quickly realized that there was not enough space between the cross member and the top of the bot or the bottom of the body for the transmission to slide in with it attached. So we had to put the transmission in after the motor was in. So now at this point with the engine and transmission in, we're going to go through and attach all the electrical and all the mechanical devices to that that we can before we put the front clip on. So, engine, transmission, clutch, this is all back together. It's all back in the, in the truck. Uh, we started some of our stuff here to wire up as far as like the distributor and the coils wired, the starters wired, um, the connections made to the generator. I need two screws for the horn and uh, I'm, I can't mess with any of the lights yet because I need to set that front clip on and then I can wire the lights up obviously. And of course, mount our oil filter and, uh, and then get our hood and everything tidied up up top. So we made pretty good progress today. We started off with no motor in here. Now we have a motor back in and uh, some wiring. So we're all right. So hey, hopefully you enjoyed our little update here today. Um, we got a lot of little things to tidy up. It's going to get a little tedious here from, you know, from here on out, as everyone's going to be well aware of if you've ever done one of these. Uh, there'll be little things here and there, but we'll get those tidied up, get this truck back on the road, and uh, put it to work. So, uh, hey, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed these. Click and subscribe. There's a lot more coming, and we have some new projects down the road here, so soon, very soon. Um, hey, with that, get in the shop, get your work done, go enjoy the day. See you.